You love him. What? No, it makes sense now. Your objections, your meddling. And you love Colin Bridgerton. I've been alone for a while. But Colin... But only with you in my mind. He's not like the other young men who play games and guard their affection. I am to escort Miss Featherington to the floor. I think it's already faded. Colin sees you as you are and regards you no differently than he does Eloise. He sees me as a wife, a woman. But I'm still so cold inside. You can choose anyone but him. He, he is my friend, Marina. I have known him forever. Your love is an unrequited fantasy. No, not to what you speak. I do not want him to be tricked and deceived into a lifelong commitment. I would like to make a small but rather important announcement. Colin! Right, I have a word. It's a rather delicate matter. Her heart belongs to another. I think that I would care. We understand each other. I know my mind, and Marina. I have asked Miss Marina Thompson to be my wife, and she has accepted. <laughs> I owe you an apology. I did not see it at first, but I know you were only trying to prevent me from heartache with Miss Thompson. And I was a fool. You were not a fool. You really believe yourself in love, one should never apologize for that. Colin, I wish to tell you something. I have something I wish to tell you as well. I'm leaving. First thing tomorrow morning, I begin my tour. I'm to start in the Mediterranean. Good luck on your tour. He is a good man with a good heart. You are very good to him. I am certain one day he will see it.